All right, folks, I'm at it again, and y'all know, and when you're with me, it's got to be trouble. Got a phone call today from uh, Miss Dr. Dory. Uh, she runs a vet clinic here in Humble, and I'll, I'll have to put down below the comments the actual name of the vet clinic, because I can't remember it offhand. Uh, anyway, she and I met, uh, shoot, back in 2012. Um, she called me out. She's got a big pecan tree here, and, uh, well, actually, it's, it's right here. I don't know if y'all can see with the glare from my truck, but um, just on the other side of the panel there is a big pecan tree, and it's got a hive of bees in it. And she wanted me, you know, wanted to know if I could get them out, and I gave her the same advice I give everybody else that has bees in a tree. You know, look, if they're not an immediate threat to you, just leave them alone. Leave them be, because the cost of taking down that tree and losing that big tree is just not worth it. So, anyway, out of the blue, she calls me in. She says, hey, I got a swarm. And they're on this water bucket here, hanging, uh, Maybe 15 foot from the tree, no big deal. So I'm going to be out here tonight by the light of the truck and the light of my little headlamp here. And uh, we're going to catch us a swarm. So I've got my boxes set up and ready. And i got some drawn comb already in them. So we're just going to try to slide the boxes over there kind of underneath as close as we can get. And then we'll just, um, you know, start moving in handfuls of bees. Uh, it's a pretty, pretty good size little swarm. Uh, it's kind of hard to judge um, how many pounds of bees it actually is just because of uh, the way it's wrapped all around this bucket. But, uh, you know, I'm going to put it at ever been a three pounds at least so anyway without further ado i'm gonna uh, get up on it and uh, start moving handfuls of bees and look what i got tonight i got uh, some special tools hopefully they're going to help me do this uh with as little harm as possible working at night you know tell y'all it's never a good good thing to work at night but uh, i have to do it a lot unfortunately uh first off is my queen excluder and i'm going to use the queen excluder to lay over the box so that as i move handfuls of bees i'll shake them onto the excluder They'll run through the excluder down into the box seeking security, and if the queen is in the handful, she'll be isolated. Uh, it works very well. Oh, so I think we got a really mean dog that's going to come attack me, so let's hope he leaves me alone. Uh, secondly, bottle of sugar water. The uh, sugar water, I'm going to spray down one just to try to keep him from some flighty. Please don't hurt me, doggy. Uh, that's, that's a pit bull, so let's hope he's nice. Um, okay, let's see. Please be, please be nice, doggy. <laughs> uh, anyway, currently I've got my be quick, be quick. I'll use just to corral the bees as needed, you know, to to uh, try to run them towards the box and into the box. I've got my lemongrass oil. Remember that is an attractant. I'll put that in the box to make them want to go in. And I've got my queen cage. Now this is the release cage, uh, but I've got my queen catcher in my pocket. So what I'll do is actually. Um, Good lord, that scared me. <laughs> I don't like dogs, I don't know. Um, I've also got my marking pen and my marking tools. Um, so, when I catch this queen in the cage, I'm actually going to mark her tonight, put her in this release cage. That way, when I bring them home, uh, I'm done. I don't have to get back in there later on to do anything. So, oh, sounds like the neighbors called off their dog. That's I appreciate that. Apparently, if they honk their horn, it makes the dog go away. So, hopefully, it doesn't come back while I'm in the middle of working bees because that'll really make me nervous. Um, anyway, like I said, I just want to show you some of the little tools and the tricks I got tonight. Uh, so let's, let's get queen, let's folks. Get busy. I told y'all, she, uh, <laughs> this was a tricky one. You know, the, the client is actually out here hanging out with me now, just watching and, and learning. And you can see the queen, she's right, right in here. Of all things, you know, the bees are running in and out of the box and all over the box. She was in a little cluster, about 10 bees, uh, a couple feet from the box, down in the grass. And I just happened to get lucky and, um, I was looking down at the little cluster of bees, you know, almost, honestly, I mean, you know, you just look at them like, ah, pff, you know, she's not there, she's uh, she's somewhere over there by the box, and I'll be darned, she was right there, I, I just kind of pulled up a little bit of grass, pulled to the side, and there she was, so, anyway, I'm going to get her in my little uh, release cage here, get her marked, and then get her in the release cage, and uh, get her back in that box, and hopefully that'll help drive the bees a little bit faster, it's been about an hour, I've been out here trying to chase them in and out of the box, so I got to get out. There she is again, folks. I went ahead and marked her. Uh, you can't see it because she's belly down right now, but got her in the release cage. Just rubber banded her in the bottom of this frame. So now I'm going to stick this frame in the box and uh, really start smoking the crap out of these bees and running them in. Got that queen, and by golly, by the, I mean, really, by just sheer luck. So my boxes are here. Let me get the thing to refocus. My boxes are here, and she was over there in the grass. So, you know, a good couple feet from the box. So anyway. It's not going to focus on them, but I got to get her put in here. I was going to show the doc, but uh, she wandered off to go check on a horse, actually. So anyway, I better get her caged up, or get her get her put in here and get these bees caught up tonight. 